How many Best Actor awards has the country that I'm talking about won? The answer is 4, which makes them the country with the third most Best Actor award wins, whilst they only have an estimated population of 7.2 million people. So how do they produce such acting talent? Why are they such an attractive filming destination? And what do Steve Jobs, Abraham Lincoln and Robert J. Oppenheimer have to do with it? That's right! Just to clarify, I'm talking about actors who possess the nationality, citizenship or a parent with the nationality. The incredible production of acting talent took its first steps all the way back in April 1896, when the very first moving pictures were shown within the country, and 13 years later, the first cinema was opened, being one of the earliest nations to invest and lay a foundation within the film industry. That foundation involved and attracted a lot of people, as it perfectly fitted within the culture of pubs, family values, the church and classic traditions and even gained quick recognition on the international stage. As 15 years after the first Oscar event was held, Barry Fitzgerald was the first actor to win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor, and in 1958, it opened its very first film studio, Ardmore Studios. Yet it wasn't until 1980 that it truly started to show significant improvement and really started to dominate all over the globe. In that same year, the Film Act was signed, which laid an even bigger foundation for its expansion and it provided extreme tax advantages for film productions and foreign talented individuals, as it also became a basis for other film acts throughout Europe and America. As soon as time couldn't keep up, films like Braveheart and Saving Private Ryan were primarily shot within the country, whilst also releasing what could be its biggest highlight in history, because in 1989, My Left Foot won the Best Actor Award thanks to Daniel Day-Lewis's performance of Christy Brown, whilst Brenda Fricker won Best Supporting Actress, for a film that's still regarded as an incredible piece of art. With a total of 104 nominations and 21 Academy Awards, it also kept growing in film schools. As of 2024, the country contains 15 universities in film and television. By comparison, a country like Germany only has 12 universities. Whilst its film industry is estimated to be valued around 700 million euros or 749 million dollars at the time of writing, consisting almost 12,000 jobs within the economy through all sorts of employment. That's good. Yes, it is indeed, Daniel. But now comes the question. What makes this ethnic group of actors so special? Well, since its foundation, its main culture is filled with emphasis on art, a strong storytelling heritage, a profound passion for artistic expression, and new generations of performers that are quite fearless in taking on tough and diverse roles. Plus many cinematic opportunities are not far away. With its most recent big highlight back in March, when Mr. Introvert became the fourth and first Irish-born actor to win the Academy Award for Best Actor. With so many talented artists, those are just a few, with some playing Steve Jobs, Abraham Lincoln and Robert J. Oppenheimer, whilst not including the massive 19th century Irish immigration towards the United States because of the big family which theoretically makes almost every famous actor have Irish descent, it's safe to say that this flying dog lookalike has had and still has a bright future, due to its low taxes, artistic environment, early foundations, attractive shooting locations and a great boost for the economy.